Redditors of Reddit, what is the most strange wrong number call you've ever received? I got a call and did not recognize the number so I ignored it 3 or 4 times until I gave in. I picked up the phone and before I could say anything a guy with a Brooklyn accent starts talking in panic and he said yo that guy we saw was one of Polish Tom's boys if he shows up don't say crap about last night and said sorry this must be the wrong number. He just started cursing and hung up. Ever since then I have been curious who what this Polish Tom looks like. Looks like they didn't drive him 3 blocks. I used to get calls for Phoebe right after I got my new number. A lot of calls. I was always nice and let them know they had the wrong number. This went on for 2 years. Near the end I got a call from an unknown number. It was Phoebe. She said she wanted to apologize. Thanks me for being kind. And she thinks she told everyone the new number. But if anyone calls, could I give it to them? I said sure. No problem. Still occasionally got calls. I politely informed them of the new number. One guy was surprised and started texting me about the whole situation. We became friends only over text and still text occasionally to this day. This happened to me by email. I had a university email extremely similar to a lecturer so we talked and agreed to forward each other's email if someone got us mixed up. I remember once a lady was really distressed about being late and another broke her leg. Dude called from prison. After I told him wrong number he said he had nobody to talk to and he had just dialed a random number. I was young and naive but the dude never asked for anything. We talked for a while. Him telling me how he got to be in jail. Straight up street thug but he was trying to make good and get back to society in good shape. Never talked again. I hope he made it out okay. Some of the inmates my friend was in jail with started calling me after talking with me for a few minutes if my friend had to go use the bathroom while we were on the phone. At one point I had 4 different inmates calling me throughout the day to just chat and listen to music I played from my phone for them lol. They were always so polite and excited to talk. I was repeatedly getting an international number and when I pick up the only thing that is said is hello and then it doesn't hang up and it's clearly a recording of the hello and then faint static. Super creepy. Also, one time I had a wrong number call from the area code I live in, and when I told the guy that I wasn't Greg he didn't seem to mind and asked me if I party. I said no so he reiterated and asked if I got high. I think it was a drug dealer cold call. I got that before too. The hello and static? So weird. I thought it was probably scammers checking if a number was dead or not. But they kept calling and it was the same crap every time so creepalicious. Got a voicemail on the house phone a few years ago. It was from an older sounding guy with what sounded like the worst case of laryngitis I've ever heard. All he said was Linda. Call me on this number. It's in your interest. I have no idea who Linda is. Or why she should call. But everyone in the family assumes she is dead by now. I'd assume she's dead too. Somehow, that's a really threatening thing to say. I once got called because a drug dealer had been shot by police and they were calling the numbers on his phone to help identify him. I asked them who died but they said they got the number wrong when they called me so they apologized and hung up. I work at an old folks home and was in the elevator one day and the emergency phone started ringing. I pushed the button to answer and it was some guy looking for a chiropractor's office. He was super confused when I told him he called an elevator in an assisted living community. I was confused BC who knew you could call an elevator from an outside line? This reminds me of a story I heard once about someone who works for a call center and accidentally placed a call directly to a secure number at the pentagon. Some weird guy handling affairs at some California courthouse screaming at me saying I was supposed to show up. The man left like 12 voicemails once and I had no clue. Each one escalating in anger. Really weird guy. Needs to chill out at his job. I got one of those calls on the voicemail at my job once. The court with a lawyer calling saying the person was going to get arrested if they didn't show up. I felt like being a decent person so I called them back and was like up. Oh, don't arrest them. They clearly didn't get this message. This was a text. The guy was off by a digit and was texting to suck me off at an Albertsons. West Coast based grocery store chain. Parking lot for painkillers. No I did not go to get sucked off because I know you buttholes are going to ask me that. I didn't have any painkillers to give. My best friend's older sister saved a voicemail for years until she got a new phone. 
This little boy who sounded maybe 5 or 6 was apparently calling his girlfriend to break up with her and said he was mad at her. And he was going to call her the J word and the R word and the M word. He went through a solid 75% of the alphabet then ended with OK I'll see you tomorrow at school I love you bye it was fantastic. You jerk retard mother. A few months ago, I got a call from a convenience store in town, and they asked for me by last name. Super uncommon last name so I know it was me. Right after I said it was me, they hung up. I called them back, and they said they must have called the wrong number. They literally asked for ME by name. After overanalyzing it for hours, I thought it was some sort of scam. It has been a few months though, and no sign of anything weird on any accounts or anything as of yet. Sound as if they were using one of those swatter things where they change their phone number and make it look like they're calling from the store. Maybe someone was curious to see if they could make it work. Sounds as if they could. Then the store employee had no idea what was going on so said one of her co-workers dialed the wrong number to make you go away. Someone called my number asking for Gary. I'm not Gary, and that isn't even close to my name. I politely said, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. They stated back that no they didn't, and I was a C, and they were going to kill me. It was at this point I decided, meh, frick this guy. So I said back some things, like come over and do it, and I'll frick you up so bad you'll be like peeing blood or something like that. The guy got more pee off, and said some other crap. Then I just went again, no, seriously dude, you have the wrong number and hung up. Rip Gary. Not a call, but I thought it'd be worth sharing. I got a text from a wrong number once about 10 years ago that said hey girl, you still dance? Need to make some money quick. This is funny enough by itself, but particularly amusing because I am a man, and freaking hilarious because I also happen to be a paraplegic. Please tell me you sent a video of you rolling around with music blasting. I didn't answer but I listened to a voicemail from a number I didn't recognize. It was a guy claiming he knew where I lived and he thinks I'm very beautiful and would love to take me out sometime. He ended the message with if you don't respond I'll kill your dog. I was kinda freaked out so I texted sorry you have the wrong number. I knew because I didn't have a dog. He responded with an apology and said it was just a joke he was playing on his GF at the time. I really hope they just like to play creepy jokes on each other. Oh no. I was working at a major scientific journal as a coordinator arranging for peer reviewers on academic papers. One day my office phone rings and on the other end is a dude with a very thick South American accent. He said, hello, is this the scientists? UHH, this is, name of science journal, oh good. I have very large jungle beast, you must tell me what it is. I'm sorry, what? I find large beast and jungle, what is it? Well first of all, that's not at all what we do here. Second of all even if it was how would I be able to identify it over the phone? I don't know, you are scientist, that is your job. Look, if you're looking to identify an animal maybe call your local department of fish and wildlife? Okay what is their number? I have no idea. I could try to look it up. Where are you located? Okay bye. And he hangs up. I guess it wasn't technically a wrong number because he clearly saw the word science in the title and assumed we were the right people to call. But how and why he called my number in particular or expected me to have any clue what he was talking about I have absolutely no idea. When I went to school in Chico CA, I lived in a dorm with a payphone in the common room. One night. Four or five of us are sitting around watching TV and one guy, call him Marvin, is expecting a call from his brother, call him Floyd. In school in Nevada, the phone rang and Marvin answers, hey, Floyd, how you doing Ains? I'm great, let me talk to Marvin, haha, ha, this is Marvin, now let me talk to Floyd, dude I am Floyd, put my brother Marvin on now, okay wait. Is this Floyd in Nevada now man? This is Floyd in Utah. Eventually they worked out that the two Floyds were trying to call their two brothers Marvin on the same night. They worked out that the phone number Floyd had called was one digit off. And all four were in college. There was much amazement and a little hilarity when Marvin finally hung up and told us what had happened. I once got an international American phone call and as I neither recognized the number nor could I quickly pull up an id on it. I picked it up and this guy instantly started blathering on in Russian with a thick Russian accent and with a speed that I assumed that only a native speaker could talk at. 
After a few moments I managed to get his attention and go oh I, who this and there's this awkward silence and then suddenly the speaker switches to this American, Texanish accent with impeccable English and profusely apologize before hanging up. This was a while ago and I've switched phones and since lost the call history but now and again I wonder just what did I intercept. Not exactly what you asked, but I made a wrong number call that has stayed with me. My elderly mum passed away and the nursing home rang me in the early hours of the morning, about 3am, to let me know. It wasn't unexpected, but is still a shock when it happens. So, I tried to ring my brother to let him know and I must have dialed the wrong number. A young man answered and I'd obviously woken him from a deep sleep. I realized immediately that he wasn't my brother and apologized. He asked who I was after and I said I was trying to ring my brother as our mum has just passed away. He said oh, I'm sorry for your loss. I know that probably doesn't seem like a big deal, but I just thought what a nice young man he must be to remember his manners and offer sympathy even when woken from a deep sleep by a random wrong number. It has stayed with me. That's a very sweet story. I'm sorry for your loss as well, even if it was a bit expected. A lady called me one day and said hello, it's your mother, the same way my mom always says it. So we chat for 10 minutes and for once she seems to be really listening to me, acknowledging what I'm saying. Very sympathetic and concerned in her short replies so I start to spill my guts about how it's been so hard for me lately and I'm really just keeping it together for the kids but all I really want to do is run away or die trying. The concern pours out of her telling me I should go see a therapist she knows and how I have been stronger than this in the past and she is spot on about everything. Then she says have you told Terry? Terry who I replied. Her. Your wife Terry. My daughter. Me. I'm not married to Terry. I'm talking about Tara. Her. Is this Bob? Me. No. This is Leafs 9999. Her. Oh honey. I'm so sorry. I have the wrong number. But you hang in there and it will all work out. Goodbye. And she hung up. Would really like my mom to actually listen like that woman did one day. Somehow, someone down in the states, I'm Canadians, had wired up a buzzer at an apartment wrong. Such that when someone tried to buzz in, our home phone would ring. For weeks, late at night, drunk folks would call asking to get into the apartment. We weren't sure what to make of it. Finally, a sober guy tried to buzz in and we were able to figure it out. Better still, found out we were able to buzz people into this random apartment by pressing 9 on our end. Problem sorted itself out pretty quick after we just started hitting 9 every time the phone rang. Comma in Chilean Spanish. Hello. Good afternoon. Could you please contact me with Mr. XXXXX? Please tell him I'm still interested on the baby goats he offered to me the other day. Comma also in Spanish. A uh, wrong number? Oh. She. Hangs up. Dude, do not get involved in a baby goats deal. I used to get calls in my college dorm room from people speaking what I think was Korean. Maybe Vietnamese. Not sure. They were clearly trying to contact a student there. Maybe the person who had my room before and the family still had the phone number. But they sounded very distressed and were asking for somebody's name. But they didn't speak any English at all. And I couldn't talk to them either, so I couldn't even help a little bit. The calls eventually stopped after a couple of weeks. I hope they got in contact with whoever they were trying to reach. When I moved into a new place in the 1990s got a new landline. I discovered shortly at the previous people would have that number were Chinese. I got one or two very long messages on my answering machine entirely in Chinese. And even got a telemarketing call in Chinese. Back in the days of dial up, when I was about 16. I was secretly surfing on P-sites in the computer room while the rest of my family was in the living room watching television. Suddenly my connection is gone, and immediately the phone starts ringing. Since one of the phones, landline, was close to the computer, I pick up. A voice with a foreign accent says, you called the wrong number, even if I didn't call anyone. Nonplussed, I reconnect to the internet. 15 minutes later, cops appear at our doorstep in full body armor and with flashlights, telling my shocked mum they received an emergency call from our house and wanted to check if there was a domestic disturbance. T to this day, I have no explanation for what happened. 
I had my old phone number for more than a decade so I was getting robber calls galore. When my BF and I decided to take the plunge and get a phone plan together, I was thrilled to get a new phone number. What I didn't realize is that some idiot named Tony had my number before. He either died or was too lazy to tell everyone that he changed his number. I'm guessing the latter. It's been over 6 months and I still get work related and personal calls and texts for this Tony bastard. I used to call them back and leave voicemails explaining that this was no longer Tony's number and they needed to tell him to tell people that he had changed his number. One person texted me and demanded who is this. I guess they thought I stole his phone or something. Frick you Tony. Let me enjoy my new number in peace. I had this happen too. Only I know why he didn't give anyone his new number. I got calls from collection agencies asking for him. So this old lady had her phone on divert to my number. The phone company couldn't do anything because she had it diverted to my number on her phone. I can only assume it was one digit out. 1. A family member was in hospital dying had been brought in by ambulance and was not long for this world so other family member called and left a message that they saw her car in the car park and to come to area, as ill person may not live long. She didn't get the message. 2. Her friends had a fantastic ski trip and went into details of where they went what they did and with whom, they wanted to catch up with her soon. She didn't get this message either. 3. The hospital rang to say that she had an appointment in, department, on, date within a week. Luckily they left their number so I rang back and explained the situation and admonished them for leaving personal details on a random message minder. 4. Some kids singing happy birthday to her. 5. Completely unintelligible accented message to the lady about a get together. I understood maybe one word in 5. 6. Notice that a Pilates class was postponed or the location changed I can't quite remember. 7. And finally a nephew who left his number for a call back so I didn't explain the whole list of messages and how the phone company can't help and can he please change the diversion on her phone. He must have because I didn't get any more, although I systematically blocked all numbers that called for her. This was in the 90s long before cell phones were common. At college, my brother and I were both students, roommates at an off-campus apartment. I was graduating. Waiting in the lobby of the university job placement center for an appointment with a counselor. There was a landline phone on the desk normally used by students to call job reps. It wasn't really meant to get incoming calls. It rang. I looked up at the receptionist who motioned for me to answer it as I was the only other person present and was within arm's reach of it. It was my brother's major professor trying to get a hold of him. I told him where my brother was. He was out running errands and suggested when he could call the apartment to get a hold of him. He thanked me. I asked him how he knew to call the job center. He hadn't. He'd meant to call the apartment, and when I picked up he'd assumed that was what he had done. He didn't know he'd misdialed until I told him, and I had to hand the phone to the receptionist before he believed me. So, calling the correct number would not have worked. Nobody was there. My brother was not reachable by phone at the time. I was the only person near a phone who knew his schedule. His processor dialed a wrong number and accidentally got the phone that I happened to be next to. Not really strange, but really annoying. I used to get calls from some guy, usually around 2-3 am, looking for someone named Dave. I would usually be asleep when he called, but he always left a voicemail for Dave. Just your typical it's Jeff, call me back type of thing. This went on for weeks. I never called them back, I thought they'd get the hint or at least see this Dave guy in person by that point and figure out their mistake, but no. One afternoon I got her another voicemail, looking for Dave, so I called him back. The guy picked up and I explained the number he'd just called and left a voicemail to was mine and he's been calling the wrong number for a month. He completely denied calling me, said he hadn't called anyone that day and he's never called my number. At this point I'm annoyed, I know it's him. I've been listening to his voicemails for weeks. I basically just said I know it's you. Stop calling me and he acted like I was crazy. He stopped calling after that, though. Dave's not here, man. Block number. Thought it was my brother the cop so I picked it up. Nope. It was a little girl who insisted I was her daddy. It was a little creepy. I didn't have a daughter at the time except the one cooking inside my wife. 
She had this crazy little laugh that went with oh yes you do have a daughter. Muhahaha that when it went to crazy creepy so I hung up on her demon laugh. One day after I have just watched YouTube vid about eating ballot as a challenge, I received a call from an unknown number asking me what is ballot in Vietnamese. Due to the fact that I have just watched the vids, my immediate response wasn't who was this but rather the egg thing. The person immediately realized it was a wrong number and hung up. That is beyond bizarre, and I'm no stranger to coincidences. My mother, actually, this was around the early 2000s maybe, when she got her first cell phone, she would always get random calls from men looking for some woman, I forgot her name, but let's say Candy, you've got the wrong number, she'd tell them and that'd be it. Finally, after one call, she decides to ask one of the callers who this Candy was. So, we get some information and are able to find a website. Turns out, Candy was an escort of types. My mom sent her an email and told her the number she was listed was incorrect. We had a good laugh. Plot twist. Your mom was Candy. That's just the excuse she set up in case anyone ever got curious. 2am. I leave my phone at my bedside for call and shifts. Hey Amber. No. Sorry you have the wrong number. Well then, what are you doing right now? I just cracked up laughing and said goodnight. Well, here's one I accidentally placed. I was calling a friend named Kate, but I got the area code wrong, and a guy answered. I asked for Kate, and he was like who are you? I said I was a friend of Kate's, and then he outright says, are you sleeping with my wife? I was like, I, no, I'm calling for Kate. And he says my wife's name isn't Kate, but it is Catherine. That's when I realized I'd dialed the wrong number. So I said oh, I think I have the wrong area code and hung up. But I'm sure from his perspective, it sounded like I was lying and just trying to get off the line. Sorry, Catherine. I bet you had some explaining to do when you got home that day. Several years ago a woman called our house saying our phone number showed up on her caller id. She was angrily asking why I had called her house. I told her several times no one had called her. Pretty sure she had the wrong number. Also pretty sure she didn't believe me. I was about 7 years old. The phone rang. Nobody was around. So I answered it. A male with a deep, hoarse voice said, Hello little girl. Hello. Is your mommy home? Uh, who is this? You don't know who this is. No. It's the devil child. And I'm about to take you to heck. I screamed and started crying and dropped the phone. I ran to the next door neighbor's house and my friend was outside. As I was trying to explain what happened through tears, I see my brother in our other neighbor's backyard. I hear him on the phone in a deep voice. Where are you little girl? I'll find you. Don't worry. And his friends were around the phone giggling. That's when I figured it out. My brother is in butthole. Haha. <laughs> That's a really positive turn right there. I got a new phone with a new number when I switched careers about 5 years ago. About a year after using the new number, I started getting calls from an elderly woman asking to speak to Delaney. I said she had the wrong number, and then read the number she was hoping to reach back to me. Same number. This was an inconvenience for me, because I had had the phone number long enough to where people I knew had that number saved, and it's a hassle trying to get everyone to save your new number. So I kept it hoping eventually I wouldn't receive any more calls. I was wrong. Apparently Delaney was very popular. I started getting text invitations to house parties. Her grandma called me almost every night looking for her despite me insisting she had got a new number. Please delete this number from your phone. Hope you find your granddaughter and she's okay. The caller it always said calls were coming from a town about 25 minutes away from where I live. Never found out if Delaney went missing or anything. And eventually the calls stopped. Fast forward to now, and I run into an old friend at a restaurant and we start shooting the crap. I ask him what he's getting into tonight. He says dunno let me get your number let's meet up for drinks. So I give it to him. And wouldn't you know he's already got the number saved in his phone as Delaney gimme brainy. I literally scream. Laughed in the middle of the restaurant and was asked to leave. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.